Why not? What's happening, guys? Dave the Film Junkie here. I just wanted to record a little vlog as I wait to go see uh, the Happy Time Murders. That's right. I'm gonna go. Uh, I just got off work, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go see this movie because I'm supposed to meet up with a friend uh, later on, and I wasn't gonna make two trips. Anyways, it's besides the point. Why are we talking about a Ryan Johnson Man of Steel two possibility? Well. It's, there's no weight behind it. It's, you know, somebody tweeted it out, and for some reason, when this person tweets out, people freak out, you know, when he does something mysterious, and then he plays dumb, like, hey, I didn't mean anything by it. You knew what you were doing. Um, so I just wanted to talk about it, because I, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it last night, and I was actually going to record this video last night, and um, give my two cents on it, because... It was funny seeing the reactions. I saw a lot of people just going, fuck no, get that fucking rumor out of my timeline, and blah, blah, blah. And obviously that's just, that has to do with uh, Last Jedi. I find it kind of funny, though. <laughs> I got a lot of people on me for not really, um, you know, too excited for Ava doing New Gods after seeing Wrinkle in Time. But everybody was like, oh, well, she's got other movies. I'm like, okay, so can we put that logic here with Ryan Johnson? Because Looper. If you haven't seen Looper, please go see Looper. I mean, what I what I get, I get the gripes about Last Jedi. I do. And I know some people say, oh, I don't like how he handles himself on Twitter and, you know, and stuff like that. I guess people don't like that either. Um, and I get the, the main reason is because of Last Jedi. And I get the gripes, but I've said many times that I enjoyed Last Jedi and there's a lot of good things that have to do with that. And I was like, well, I wouldn't mind. Eh, maybe you could have an interesting take on, on Superman. I mean... Eh, well, you know, who knows? It's not going to happen because as... And this is another thing, another reason why I wanted to do this video because as far as I can tell, there's no way that he would do Man of Steel 2 because he's currently working on a new trilogy saga for Star Wars, but then a lot of people said it was canceled and I started searching and I didn't see anything on the big trades. I saw little things here and there and then what I mainly saw from everything was uh, that they canceled the spinoffs, which is why we're not getting an Obi-Wan movie announced yet because of what happened with Solo. And it's like, you guys... I just wish they'd realized an Obi-Wan movie was the way to go in the first place. I mean, a solo movie, I mean, the, everything with the solo movie was just all jacked up from the, uh, not from the beginning, but I don't know. It's just a lot of things went wrong with that. You do an Obi-Wan movie with Ewan McGregor, you're set, you're golden. Your movie's going to probably make more than Rogue One. But for some reason, there's nothing. And uh, yeah, so I, that's the furthest I saw about it. So if anybody has any solid information about them canceling his trilogy because of the backlash of Last Jedi, you know, and I know that was another thing too, because I am I was kind of like, hmm, I've heard this song before where a director was getting shit on by a fan base because they didn't like his take on the characters deconstructing him and stuff like that, yeah, some parallels to Mr. Snyder, but at least if they canceled the trilogy before, if they canceled it before he started or was well into it, it you know, it'd be a lot better than, you know, trying to get him out as he's working on it or almost done with it. But I know a lot of people will uh, will, will come back with stuff, you know, the differences between that, which there are. I'm just, I think people are just saying the basis of a lot of things was like, you know, yeah, the, it's fan reception is making the studio pull back on a director and being like, we don't like what you're doing. So that's, I think, what the, 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 the similarities are right there. But, um, you know, like I said, with Looper, I mean, there's even this movie Brick, which I know a lot of people have not seen. He's a talented filmmaker. He is. And there's a lot of great things in Last Jedi. And like I said, I'll make fun of some of the things that are dumb, you know, the yeah, nipple milk. Yeah, a little strange, you know, but... You know, he is a talented filmmaker, and, you know, if he were to take on Man of Steel, which he's not going to, Man of Steel 2, you know, it would be interesting to see his take. Like I said, Looper was just a fresh take on the whole time travel paradox thing and everything like that. So, anyways, guys, that's just a just a little vlog I wanted to record talking about that. Appreciate you watching. Let me know your thoughts about it down below, and I love you. I'm going to go see Happy Time now.